Hello, this is Holly Wharton and I am redoing a video that I had on my old YouTube channel. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm re-releasing second editions of my four business mindset books, business beliefs, business blocks, business visibility, and business intuition. And this is really important because in the very first book, Business Beliefs, I talk a lot about how to use muscle testing. So why would you want to use muscle testing? I assume if you're watching this video, you've heard of this, you know what it is. Basically, it's to get answers from yourself, from your higher self or from your subconscious mind. And the idea is that you already know the answers to the questions that you'll be asking, but sometimes it's difficult to tap into that information, so muscle testing can make that easier, especially when it comes to connecting with your subconscious mind or your higher self. So there are seven primary ways of self-muscle testing. This can take a lot of trial and error. Some people will find the best technique for them the first time. Most people will not. So if it takes you a while to find the technique that works for you, it'll take time. Please feel free to get in touch if you have any questions um, or put a comment in the video below, but it takes trial and error. Most people don't get this on the first go. Uh, so first one, and this is the one that I use, is finger circle. So I'm left-handed, um, so you may do this opposite. So what I do is I form a circle with one hand and then I test like this. So when you're testing, you want to be sitting or standing with your legs uncrossed, relaxed. You want to make sure you're well hydrated. You want to make sure um, you're in a place where you can focus on this and not be distracted by other things. So the easiest way to test the strong or weak or yes and no responses is to say, my name is Holly, and that's strong. Uh, my name is George, weak. So you have multiple fingers on your hands. So I use the middle finger and my thumb. You could use your index finger, you could use your ring finger, you could use your pinky finger, or you could do it uh, the other way around. Again, I'm left-handed, so I, I have the straight hand with my left hand and the ring on my, or the circle on my right hand. Um, that would be a bit challenging for me to do the other way around, but again, go with what works for you. So my name is Holly, strong. My name is George, weak. That's easy. The next thing to try, if that doesn't work for you, if that works for you, use it. If you want to expand into different types of muscle testing, self-muscle testing, then go for other things. So the next thing, I'm not sure what it's called. I call it fingers as arms because when you're doing muscle testing with another person, usually you will press on the other person's arm. So with fingers as arms, um, what you do is you would put your hand on your leg um, and lift up one of your fingers like this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna press on your finger as though it were an arm. Um, so um, again, this is a bit difficult because of how I'm set up here. So let's just use this. Okay, so it would be, my name is Holly, and that you can tell it's strong. My name is George, It weak. Uh, again, you probably want to rest your hand on a desk or on a table, because that makes it a lot easier, but you get the idea. And again, as with the other form of self-muscle testing, use whichever finger works for you. Like maybe it's your index finger, maybe it's your ring finger. Play around with this. Play around with your different hands. Maybe you'll do it with your left hand. Whatever works for you. Um, the next type of self-muscle testing is double circles. So this is a lot like the first one where you do this, except you're doing two circles. So um, I'm using middle finger in both hands. You can use whatever combination of fingers. So my name is Holly, strong. My name is George, weak. And so when that happened, so when I used that, this left hand was the circle that broke, um, which is different from how I do it when I do the straight finger. So again, try different combinations of fingers, see what works for you. So the next one is something that's very subtle and I don't 
loved this version of self-muscle testing, but it works for a lot of people. And some people have contacted me based on the old video that I did, and they've said they've tried self-muscle testing many times, nothing ever worked until they tried this, sticky smooth. So what you're doing is you're basically rubbing your fingers together and you're testing. My name is Holly. My name is George. Try a different hand. My name is Holly. My name is George. This one's never really worked for me, but technically what's supposed to happen is when you say the wrong answer or the negative statement, it, your fingers would get sticky. So usually smooth is the yes answer, sticky is the no answer, but maybe it's the other way around for you. So you need to check and see what works for you and if this even works for you. For me, this is very, very subtle and, and it's never really worked for me. Um, so that's that. The next one is scissors. So it's using your fingers as scissors, left hand, right hand, whichever one you want to use. So you would say again, my name is Holly, my name is George. Um, and you could try it with another hand, my name is Holly, my name is George. Um, that one, I also, like it works for me, but it's not my preferred. I mean, and again, you could try this with different fingers. I mean, I think these two are going to be, your index and your middle finger are going to be the best ones for this, but again, try what works for you. So the next one is something that requires standing. So it's called stand and sway. And this is a pretty common version of self muscle testing. So I'm going to stand up right now. So with this one, you're going to stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Again, relax and just say the statement. My name is Holly. And then I start to go forward. My name is George and then go back to the center. My name is George and I go backwards. So you might want to do this where you can hold on to a desk or a table or something. Um, it's quite possible that you might go to your left or to your right. I guess you could go clockwise, counterclockwise, but I think the standard is to sway either forward or backward. Finally, there is the pendulum. So a pendulum is a usually a crystal or some kind of stone, or it could be even metal could you could use a necklace um, so the way the pendulum works is and this is a bit difficult so if you're new to using the pendulum or even if you're experienced with using the pendulum you probably want to rest your um, elbow on a desk or a table or whatever you've got at hand so if not like if you don't have anything try to keep your arm close to your body just so your arm doesn't move around and you get a pretty clear response. Some people get a very strong response to the pendulum. I do. Some people, stop it. Um, some people get a really subtle response. So for me, it's my name is Holly, and that goes back and forth. My name is George, and that goes left and right. So for some people with the pendulum, it will go clockwise, counterclockwise, and again, your, your, your no could be up and down and your yes could be left and right. It's going to be different for everyone. So that's why it's so important for you to test not only how do I enjoy this system, does it work for me, but also what is my strong and weak or my yes and no response. So again, troubleshooting, make sure that you're relaxed, make sure that you are hydrated, Make sure that you're comfortable. Make sure that you're in a quiet place where you can focus on this. Once you get the hang of it, it will be really easy for you to do this. Um, I often use the pendulum, but usually what I use is the hands. So top mistakes. Before I had a separate video for this, but I think it's important to just include this in the same video. Um, top mistakes, I would say people say making is improper position. So you need to be either sitting or standing with your feet flat on the floor, not with your ankles crossed, not with your legs crossed, just flat. And again, relaxed. If you're tense or if you're worried or stressed about not getting it right, it's going to make it more difficult. So just relax. Um, 
if you don't get a clear response, try different names. So your name should usually come up strong. Um, if use a different name for the, the wrong name. Um, so George, I don't really know anyone named George. So, you know, it, it works for me. But don't use a name of someone that you're familiar with. Don't use like your partner's or your siblings or your mother's name. Use a name that is kind of disconnected from your personal life. That can make it easier. So one of the mistakes that can happen is getting a weak, weak response. So you're weak to your name and you're weak to what's not your name. If that happens, have a drink of water and keep hydrating until you get a strong response. So your name ideally should always be strong because it's your name. Um, and again, you don't use the name that you think of yourself as. So if your name is technically Jonathan on your birth certificate, um, but you go by John, use John. Like don't feel like you need to use your full name or your formal name, or if you go by your middle name, but you know, you feel like you should use your first name, use whatever name you call yourself um, amongst friends or whatever name you think of yourself as. Uh, it doesn't have to be your absolute formal name that's on your birth certificate or passport. Um, sometimes you'll get a strong, strong response. You'll get, my name is Holly, my name is George. When that happens, just relax. Um, just maybe do something else to get your mind off it, do something to relax and then come back to it. So that's it. That's all for now. This is really, really simple. Just to run a quick recap, uh, you've got finger circle. My name is Holly. My name is George. Fingers as arms. Again, you want to do this on some kind of table. So my name is Holly. My name is Holly. My name is George. This is really hard to demonstrate without a table and doing it properly, um, but you get the idea. Double circles. My name is Holly. My name is George. Uh, sticky smooth, which doesn't really work for me. My name is Holly. My name is George. Yeah, it feels the same for me. It really doesn't work. Uh, scissors. My name is Holly. My name is George. Stand and sway. I won't stand up again, but you get the idea. You might stand, sway forward or backward or left or right. Um, play around with that. And then finally, the pendulum, which is a really convenient way of doing it. So play around with this, find what works for you. If you feel like nothing works, drop me a comment in the comments and I'll see if I can help. But really, it's just a matter of playing around. And again, you have many fingers, try using different fingers. Like if, if this doesn't work, then try, you know, other fingers. So that's it. Play with it, have fun with it, see what works for you. Let me know if you have any questions. That's it.